What's a four letter word for two people closely resembling each other? Uh, twin. Come on! You know, Ben's really got a nerve on him. Coming in the staff room, impersonating me like that, in front of everybody? Doesn't he know that that's a punishable offense under the, sex, uh, under the Canadian Criminal Code? In fact, in section 403, subsection 1, it says personating a person includes pretending to be the person or using the person's identity information, whether by itself or a combination with identity information pertaining to any person as it in that lobby. Did you see who made this mess? That mess? Yeah. No. You're in some deep trouble if I ever catch him. Good. Did you see who made the mess in the, in the, in the lobby? I have no idea. Hey, look what I got! I have a new seat! Look at this! Oh, my dear. Mr. Murphy, with your... Um, exercises, look at this. I'm gonna have all kinds of muscles, so good for my core. Look at that. Woohoo! You so know what you're missing. Work. You don't exercise anyway. I'm gonna start right now. Look at this. I'm gonna bounce all day long. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> so Ben's a type A individual. His papers always have to be straight, desks in a line, showing up on time. Hey Ben. Oh, hey Tyler, how are you doing? Not too bad. That's good. What's going on? Uh, not much. Can I help you with something? Is this Amethyst? No, it's not. No? No. Huh. Tyler, you know it's not where it goes. That's a sedimentary rock. You put it back. Excuse yourself. Excuse me. I like to challenge people like that. So if we're trying to find the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle, we're going to take a and B, we're going to square them, then we're going to add them together, and then we're going to square root that to find the length, okay? Oh, uh, yes, you have a question? Can you get our tests back? Sure, yeah, I totally forgot. Let me just get them out of my, my test drawer. And... You know, I like to mix it up, you know, put him out of his comfort zone a little bit. So what I did, uh, sometimes I knock on his door, Nicky Nicky Nine door, conga line with my students through his classroom, uh, you know, prank call, try and order a pizza. Uh, this time I took some pages, put it in a jello mold, seated on YouTube, seemed like a pretty good idea. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I think I'm gonna have to eat my way out of this. Don't you have something better to do? Nope. Prom. So she brings in this fitness orb, she's bouncing around on it, knocking all my stuff over. She doesn't even exercise. This is an office. What does she think this is? A playground? Did you happen to see who made the mess in the lobby this morning? Uh, no. <laughs> well, yeah, so don't like Ladies, did you see who made that mess in the lobby this morning? No, I didn't see nothing. Maybe you'll have to check the cameras. That's a good idea. Good luck. So, Carlton, Wednesday. Is it serious? Hey bro, a tough day, huh? I really need some coffee. Yeah. Whew. How's your morning going? Right. Oh. There. Yeah, left you then. Have a great day. Thank you. Did 
Did you see that? I mean, I try to install a climate of things being half full around here. One third full, we can adjust. But that was almost empty. I've been gathering some clues. Yesterday, Carolyn only put a few things in her garbage can. I mean, seriously, does this look like the garbage can of someone who cares? I've been doing some research. And it looks, seems like Carolyn may have receptacle philophobia, but I've developed a really great treatment option for Carolyn. We'll see if it works. All right, get these tests done really quick. Hey man, uh, you're almost done here. I got some tests. I got to photocopy right quick. No, I'm, I'm a little busy photocopying my stuff right now. How long are you going to be? Well, probably another five minutes. It's got 50 pages to do. Well, why, do you, why, do you, why are you even photocopying? My beard manual. So you're photocopying your own private stuff? I got tests I got to photocopy, man. You should have thought of that. Hey, I got like two minutes. I mean, this is the time I got off. Beard manual? Beard manual? Beard manual. Brett think he is coming in here demanding the photocopier, thinking he's got every right in the world to just take over the photocopied god? Come on. I mean, I have to look after this beard. I need this manual to make it look like this every day. Brent, you got to take a hike and get the other photocopier. So Carolyn, I understand this is your first time in therapy. Yes, it is. So I would like to make you aware that I've take, had some observations. Um, it seems that you have a fear of filling receptacles. Would you agree with this? I guess so. So I've developed uh, a strategy or a type of therapy known as exposure therapy. Mm -hmm. Are you, would you be interested in trying some of that? Sure, I guess. <laughs> what? I really feel as though my treatment He's working out. I will never leave a receptacle half empty again. So I was uh, looking at diversifying my portfolio. You know, I got a stock guy who he said I gotta put it. Oh, hey, John. You got a guy who's mutual. Uh, you know the thing about that mess that we made in the in the lobby? No mess in the lobby. I don't. No. You, you, you sure? We've been in here doing board meeting all day. We talk about stuff. Yeah. You do. Yeah, come with me, boys. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys sure you don't know what happened out in the hallway? Yeah, no. I got, yeah. I got no idea. I don't know. Kids messing around, must have been. These kids these days. Some people just don't show respect anymore. This stuff happens all the time. Making a mess, leaving it all over the place. It's just starting to wear on me big time. Yeah, so that's us. Yeah, we're just, you know, just hanging out, just chilling. We had to settle a bet on our dance moves. So I was just showing so off my robot. The problem is here. Yeah, I just I had to show off my robot. So Ooh. 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 Um, hmm. um, well, that could be the problem that we're trying to solve. What do you expect? I'm not their dad. Red-handed. That's kind of awkward. Yeah. Uh, we're sorry, John. We should have come clean. In two ways. So it looks like you guys get one week of mop duty. Understood. How much did you pay for that thing? I don't know. Fifteen bucks? <laughs> well, I started eating out here because it's better for my digestion to eat in the fresh air. <laughs> what is this? Well, someone put my tests in Jello and I gotta get them out. It's, that's not your tests. Your tests are in my class. Wait, wait, what? So I've, I've been eating this for nothing? Yeah, 100%.
<laughs> that sucks.